So now I would like to invite ICOMOS to present the nomination of the Yudin Savan Archaeological Site, Yudin Savan Settlement and Kasipora Creek Cemetery, Suriname. This is the presentation of the ICOMOS evaluation of the Joan Savanna Archaeological Site, Suriname. The ICOMOS report can be found in document INF 8B1 on page 479 of the English version and page 332 of the French version. On this evaluation, ICOMOS has received a letter on factual errors and has acknowledged some of these errors. Next slide. The Joan Savannah settlement is part of a serial nomination which illustrates early Jewish colonization attempts in the New World. It was founded in the 1680s and includes the ruins of what is believed to be the earliest synagogue of architectural significance in the Americas, along with cemeteries and the foundations of brick buildings, boat landing areas, a military post and a small section of the military defense line cordon pad, among other elements. The Cassipora Creek Cemetery is the remnant of an older settlement founded in the 1650s, which ceased to exist three decades later when its inhabitants migrated to Jordan Savannah. Unusual for the Atlantic Sephardic diaspora, these early Jewish colonies were not situated in existing urban settings and were longer lived than many. Located amidst indigenous territory, the settlements were inhabited, owned and governed by Jews who lived there together with free and enslaved persons of African descent. The archaeological remains, together with historical documentation, allow an exceptional story to be told of the centuries-long development of this Jewish state within a state. The settlements had the most extensive arrangement of privileges and immunities known in the early modern Jewish world. The property was nominated under criteria 2 and 3. However, ICOMOS considers that criterion 2 has not been demonstrated. In view of the specificities of the Jordan Savannah settlement and the parameters chosen for the comparative analysis, ICOMOS considers that the nominated property is distinct from other testimonies that illustrate the first attempts of Jewish settlement in the New World and justifies consideration for the World Heritage List. Next slide. The nominated property is comprised of two component parts. The remains of the Joan Savannah settlement on the heavily forested banks of the Suriname River and the Cassipora Creek Cemetery two kilometers downstream. No further information is available at this time concerning the Cassipora Creek settlement and only the cemetery is included in the nominated property. The area suspected of being the location of this Cassipora Creek settlement is included in this component parts buffer zone. The requirements for authenticity and integrity have been met. However, ICOMOS highlights the need to strengthen protection of the surroundings of the nominated property's component parts in order to avoid negative impacts to the authenticity of the nominated property in the future. Some issues concerning the delineation of the boundaries have been resolved through the evaluation process. ECOMOS considers that the revised boundaries are now coherent with the identified attributes. Next slide. The nominated property has the highest legal protection at the national level, but ECOMOS notes uh, the possibility of additional protection being afforded to the archaeological site and its surroundings. A management plan exists by which the local indigenous population is co-responsible for the nominated property's management. The collaboration between the Ready Doty Village Council and the Joan Savannah Foundation through a renewable four-year memorandum of cooperation is harmonious. No conclusive information is provided concerning the possible involvement of other groups of stakeholders. ECOMOS considers that an adequate and stable budget for the investigation, operation, maintenance, conservation and presentation of the nominated property is essential. ECOMOS furthermore considers that the state of conservation is adequate and that most factors affecting the nominated property are well identified and controlled. However, possible future threats, especially related to climate change and development pressures, should be closely monitored. The elaboration of an integral risk preparedness plan should be considered. Next slide. Here is a summary of the ECOMOS evaluation 
of the proposed outstanding universal value of the nominated property. Next slide. To conclude, ICOMOS recommends that Jordan Savannah Archaeological Site, Suriname, be inscribed on the World Heritage List on the basis of Criterion 3 and has included a number of further recommendations in the draft decision to aid the long-term conservation of the property. Next slide. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Ecomos, for this presentation. I would like to ask the floor if they have any comments concerning this nomination. So I would like to invite you, dear colleagues, to adopt and I declare that draft decision 45 com 8b.50 adopted. Congratulations, congratulations to Suriname.